Hey everyone, I'm Florian, and this is Amazing Animation Analysis. Normally on this show, I look at other people's amazing animation and find out why and how it's so amazingly animated. And there's also this small little Florian to present it too, see? Hey, how you doing? But today, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna look at some of my own animation, namely Mario & Luigi Super Anime Brothers, and go through its entire creation process. I'll tell you how I came up with the idea, writing the script, doing the voices, the animatic, and creating the final version of the video. I'll also explain why it became such a hit, and why the sequel didn't do as well. So since we're looking at my own stuff, I thought it would be better to just have me here, the creator, instead of this uh, Florian. So... So first up, just to clear up some confusion, Super Anime Brothers is posted on Mashed. Mashed usually doesn't create animations themselves. They hire animators to make animations, and then put them on their own channel. And look at those views! Over 25 million views! Just makes me wonder why I'm toiling away. Analyzing animations? For who? For who? Yahoo! So usually the guys over at Mashed just send over some game titles that they want videos made out of. And what immediately caught my eye was Luigi's Mansion 3. The trailer had just come out and the new power-up was Luigi. And I was started thinking of how Luigi could use his ability on Mario. Because, as we know, Luigi is always number two. And Mario is just better. And there's just gotta be some friction there. That's basically the basis for all my Mario videos. The next step I do is do some voices out loud. I always have a fascination of lines and sayings. And for me, a video has to work in speech first. How does somebody say something? When does the other react? It's kind of like a song. And so while I talk to myself, I start writing out the script. So my basis for the script was this. Luigi is going to use his new ability to defeat Mario. But I also had a rule for myself. Mario is always better than Luigi. No matter what, I think that's more true to the character. And it also makes Luigi more of an underdog. It's fun to tease Luigi and to root for him at the same time. So in the first script, Mario and Luigi are running. Mario is jumping over pits, Luigi is jumping over pits, and then Luigi falls into a pit. Mario thinks of all the good times they had, and he jumps in to save Luigi. He saves Luigi, but Luigi turns out to be Guigi. Luigi shows up and starts his exposition. When all of a sudden, Mario pushes in Luigi. And then Mario starts his exposition on how he knew Luigi's plan all along. And then there'd be a cutaway with Bowser, who'd say, this relationship is fucked up. So this is the first version of the script, and there are some things that work. The beginning. Every story needs an intro. And since we're working with established characters, all the audience really needs to know is that we're looking at Mario and Luigi. So what do Mario and Luigi do? They run and jump, plain and simple. We let Mario and Luigi run and jump, we establish the characters, we can quickly go on with the video, which works pretty well for YouTube. Luigi falls down a pit, because he's bad. We can accept this. It's in line with the character. Mario loves his brother and he goes in to save him. Luigi knows Mario loves him and that's why his plan works. But the rule is, Mario is always better than Luigi. So Mario has to outsmart Luigi. So in a twist, Mario pushes him in. When Mario makes his exposition, it makes sense. He uses an ability out of his own game, Cappy, to get a win over Luigi. And knowing Luigi's plan all along, once again makes him better than Luigi. The things that don't work is Mario leaving Luigi for dead and Bowser cutting in. In the end, to me, Mario loves his brother. No matter how much Luigi wants to win, Mario will always save him. So the ending doesn't really feel true to me. And Bowser cutting in has nothing to do with the story we're trying to tell. Bowser cutting in is kind of like the director cutting in, saying, Hey, isn't this weird guys? Isn't this a fun situation? It makes the audience feel like, Yeah, alright, it's a video I guess. But what the f*** did I just watch? It's not a real ending, and the story hasn't resolved at all. So I knew the script was bad. And people, there's one thing you gotta know. If your script is bad, your film is bad. Plain and simple. You gotta fix the script. Don't ever start your film before your script is done. No, don't do it. To fix the script, I want people to feel like they watch something worthwhile. That there's more than just a cheap cutaway. I wanted there to be a satisfying ending on multiple layers. And with scripts, jokes and stories, I'm always talking about layers. Let me explain. Layer one would be the story. So if we just have layer one, it will be something like this. Person A and B are together. Person A falls down a pit. Person B saves him. Twist, it was according to person A's plan. Twist, it was according to person B's plan. That in itself doesn't feel very exciting yet. Layer two is that it's Mario and Luigi. They use the abilities from their games to fight against each other. But there's one problem. To me, Mario loves Luigi, but it doesn't work yet. He doesn't save him in the end. So right now there's a problem with layer two. Why add the Mario universe if you're not going to be truthful to it? Layer 3 is the anime twists. I'm essentially making fun of anime. 
But that's all I'm doing right now. I'm just making fun of it. I'm not adding anything to it at all. If you just make fun of it, it's very one-sided. The people who are able to laugh at this are the people who love it as well. I want to validate their passion by making fun of it, but by showing the cool side as well. So let's fix layer three. We take this concept of anime twists and go a bit further. So let's put in one more twist. Guiji is back and he pushes in Mario. I mean, looking at the trailer, I kind of felt sorry for Guiji. Going through the spikes and into the drain and stuff, this is also in line with Luigi being fed up with being number two. If you think Luigi had a bad time, think about being a number two to a number two. It's in line with the video's theme of revenge. So let's take this concept of twists even further. This was all according to Mario and Luigi's plan and they defeat him by using Mario's ability, Cappy. And then there's one final twist, just to say something about twists themselves. This entire sequence, this entire video was all planned beforehand. It is essentially a twist on you, the audience. So layer three comes to an end and we said something fun about twists too. So by fixing layer three, we also fix layer one. The story is now as follows. Person A and B are together. Person A falls down a pit. Person B saves him. Twist, it was according to person A's plan. Twist, it was according to person B's plan. Then a secret person C shows up. Now person A and B have to work together to stop person C. Bring person A and B back together. It's definitely more satisfying. A and B beginning together and ending together. It's full circle. And we solve the problem in layer two. Now I said Mario loves his brother. And in the end, like always, they're two brothers that help each other. And what makes layer two good is that these characters can only be Mario and Luigi. They use abilities only they can use. And they have characteristics only they have. So in the script, I also added some references to Jojo. This is the fourth layer. I didn't really add something extra to the fourth layer, but it's just a nod to Jojo. And then there's one last layer, although it's more visual. Mario and Luigi actually become anime themselves. And starting on cute Mario and Luigi, then going anime, then going back to cute Mario and Luigi, closes that story as well. And it's a fun way to make the audience realize, oh yeah, I was just watching a simple Mario video. What the hell am I even watching now? In a good way. And with this, every layer works and every layer helps each other. So the script is done, and then I do some voices. I'm not an expert in voices, but I just do 10 takes of the same line and choose the best one. And as a side note, these might not be the voice I use in the end. In this video, I'm the original Mario and Luigi. Mario. <laughs> and the anime voices are done by voice actors. I'll leave the rest to you. Thank you, brother. Mario is done by Alex Walker-Smith, Luigi is done by Blake Swift, and Luigi is done by Mick Lauer, Rice Pirate. Here's a bit of the animatic with my voice. I guess this is farewell, brother. I'll leave the rest to you. Thank you, brother. When the voices are done, I cut them up and I time them. He says this, he responds in this way, then he says this, etc. When I selected all the lines, I also know how long the video is gonna be, uh, roughly. And at this point, I can also do some edits or take some stuff out or put some stuff in. When I'm satisfied with the result, it's time for the animatic. The animatic is where all the visual choices are being made. I create the layout, the characters, I make sure everything is timed properly and all that stuff. For example, this is also the part where I make sure it works that Mario turns anime. Luigi is in a pit. He's about to die. Mario tries everything, but he doesn't know what to do. He's at the height of his panic. Luigi is really about to die. And there's only one option left, to turn anime. If this isn't dramatic, it doesn't work. It doesn't feel right to turn anime in a weird sort of way. Usually my animatics are pretty detailed. I want to have a super clear picture of what's going on. This way, when I give an animatic to someone, they have a pretty good idea of what the end result will be. I'm making a version of a video that people can understand, see, and give feedback on. And after the feedback, I might make some changes. When the animatic is done, I usually feel like the video is sort of done too. The designs are there, the layout, the timing. The video just works. The part after this is just making it look slick. It's the wrapper on the candy. It's the initial look that draws people in. Now I'm not saying this part isn't important. I'm just saying to me, it feels like the video is already sort of done. For this video, the visuals and the animation are very functional to me. I mean, it looks good, but it's not overly animated. Kind of like a normal anime episode. But hey, the jaws move, so it's a little bit better than normal anime. And there's one part that I animated a bit cooler than the rest. It's the punch. I just had to put a little cool sequence in there. It's sort of rewarding the people who really like this kind of anime. In the end, I made it look like a mini anime episode. So it all works. The last part of the video is the audio. And people say the audio is half of your film. And I tend to agree. I didn't do that much for the audio. The design and the effects are done by my lovely sound designer, Tom Polka. He really made the video pop, audio wise. So the video is done and it's uploaded to Mashed. And then 
Wow! It became a big hit. Bigger than most things on Mashed. But why? I'll try and explain. First, it's in the name. Anime is big and Mario is big. The very expressive thumbnail works too. But this is just the initial click. Why do people share it and show their friends? In all honesty, I think it's the layers. People can enjoy the layers individually. The video works if you're a fan of Mario. But it also works if you're a deep fan of Mario. If you know all the moves and the games that are coming out. This video also works if you're a fan of anime. You can be like, this is just a typical anime episode. But if you're a deep fan of anime, and in particular Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, you'll really like it. It makes fun of anime, but it's kinda cool too. And the video just works as a story too. It's about brothers turning against each other, but also coming back together to defeat a common enemy. And the visuals are nice too. But the video works the most if you know all the layers and it all comes together. Also, as a bonus joke, Mario actually killed someone. That's something you only realize after the fact. And I planned it all. This is the conversation I had with Tom from Mashed. When we cut back to Luigi in the lava, shit will have a skull or remains of the poor sap that Mario used. Me, I think it might be funny for people and in the comments if they're like, Hey, wait a minute, didn't Mario just kill that guy? And it's all over the comments. It was just a little joke for the internet. So if you didn't know, there's also a sequel, but it didn't do as good. Well, I mean, 6 million is still pretty good, but it's only the fifth of the first video. But why didn't it work as well? Here are my thoughts. Part of it could be sequel fatigue. I mean, you saw the first one, why bother with the second one, right? But not necessarily. I mean, people might think one was good, why not watch the second one too? But this is all guessing. Here are the things I do know. It's gotta be the layers. So layer one, story-wise. Person A and B want to kill person C. A actually also wants to kill B, a secret plot. C is too strong for A and B. So in order to win, B sacrifices himself. A gets what he wants, and B and C are dead. But A regrets it, which is sort of forced. It's a bittersweet ending, but a little confusing. Layer two, it's Mario and Luigi. But is it really? As for abilities, Mario is using sort of a fireball, but it could also be Dragon Ball Z fireball. Luigi's ability isn't Luigi's ability. I mean, it's special beam cannon, it's Dragon Ball Z, it's Piccolo basically. And Luigi regrets killing Mario, but it's a bit forced, I feel. Mario and Luigi aren't really Mario and Luigi. It's basically a Mario skin. They're just Piccolo, Goku and Reddit. And also we didn't make fun of it or do anything extra with it. So adding the Mario cast doesn't really do anything here. Layer 3, Dragon Ball Z. Is it Dragon Ball Z? It's very Dragon Ball Z. I mean, it's exactly Dragon Ball Z. It's the same fight. So Layer 3 sort of adds Layer 3, but we didn't say anything about Dragon Ball Z and we didn't add any jokes about Dragon Ball Z. Basically, it's just this. Dragon Ball Z is cool. Look how cool it is. Dragon Ball Z is cool. So yeah, it's, it's cool. Also, when Mario goes anime, it's a little forced. He's on the ground after one attack. He didn't try any other options. It's not super dramatic. It wasn't like it was the only option left. He just changes. It lacks a bit of impact. As for the animation and art, it looks Dragon Ball Z and it's well done. But as we can see, animation can't really save your video. The script has to be good too. All the layers need to connect, and you either need to say something about the layers, take it further, or make them connect in a weird way. Also, there's no bonus jokes, so... I'm not an expert in voices, but it just stays... Blah, 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 blah. This big. <laughs> oh no! I'm done. I can't do it anymore. I'll come back uh, in the morning. Peace! Thanks for watching and have a good day. Kisses!